The next 10 years will also see even more green spaces created in Singapore. One of the first, a nature park set among mangroves in Yishun. Kelly Wong with more. Sungai Bolo and the central catchment area. These are two of Singapore's four nature reserves. So far, more than 350 hectares of forested areas around them have been converted into nature parks that protect the reserves from the impact of urbanization. This is important as the nature reserves are the richest sources of our natural capital. They contain our primary and secondary rainforests and core habitats for our native biodiversity and wildlife. In all, we will dedicate another 200 hectares of nature parks by 2030. This is two and a half times the size of the Singapore Botanic Gardens. One such park is Katit Bongsu, a mangrove and mudflat habitat in Yishun. It will be the size of about 40 hectares of 56 football fields. Apart from more nature parks, Mr. Lee also announced other greening initiatives. These will create about 196 football fields of gardens and parks over the next five years. And it won't just be planting sideways, but upwards too. About 80 more hectares of sky-rise greenery will cover HDB blocks over the next 10 years in a bid to bring nature directly to homes. And to make it easier to get close to nature, park connectors will be increased to 500 kilometres over the next decade, up from the 340 kilometres currently. More trees and plants will also be planted along roads and footpaths that mimic forests, also called nature ways. We've been planting nature ways since 2013. And by 2030, we aim to have 300 kilometres of nature ways and 500 kilometres of park connectors. With this, all households will be within a 10-minute walk from a park. And over the long term, where feasible, we aim to make every road a nature way. Mr. Lee also announced a new movement to plant one million trees across Singapore over the next 10 years, along roads and in parks. They'll also include industrial areas like Salita Aerospace Park, with plans to plant 100,000 more trees.